Okay, guys, welcome back uh, to Unbox. So, look, uh, this one is the frame that we started working on just yesterday. I had the two holes over here on this side, which were filled up, obviously, uh, with the hinges, and I had to uh, take off the hinges, and now I fill them up with some simple dowels. Now, what I'm going to do is just to cut these dowels flush right now, and then... Uh, I will show you what the progress is on this project. Okay, guys, so let's start cutting the double flush. I don't want to use my flush cut so because it's not sharp enough. I have to sharpen it or buy a new one. So I'm going to use this new park side, so, uh, which is perfectly okay. I mean, they are only some dowels, so it should cut perfectly fine. I just have to be careful because I don't want to ruin the side too much and I want the cut to be precise enough. Let's try to see what I can do. As you can see, some of the, um, of the glue is making a little mess, but it's dry enough so we can cut this little dowel away and then we can use some filler to clean the situation off so then we can sand it and paint it okay okay there is no more hole here we are gonna just uh, uh, you know sand it a little bit it's gonna get smooth and perfect don't worry it's gonna be painted so no big deal even if it gets to be a little messy okay now we're gonna be cutting these other two dowels which I used to fill up some other nasty holes on the side and then we can see what to do with this frame with this mirror I have to try and be precise over here um, because basically you know the frame isn't uh, very sound mechanically speaking so it's not too strong because it's only decorative uh, what really holds up all this thing together it's a panel on the back we... yes Let me try by this side. Okay, now we are going to fill up these parts with some Bondo and then we are going to just um, uh, send them flush. So, you know, it's not going to be visible, but at least we didn't have to fill up three big holes right on the side and we fill them up with some wood, which is always the nicest possible option. Okay, I wasn't too precise here, but again, it doesn't matter too much. We are gonna uh, fill it up and then sand it before painting it white. So no problem. Now at all. we gotta take care of the back panel of this beautiful mirror. So what we're gonna do is basically uh, we're gonna lift it up. So all these little nails, uh, nails are gonna give up and we're gonna have it free to work on. And th at the same time, we are gonna install three hanging brackets which I bought for 99 cents, the three of them, um, screws included, so, you know, it was a pretty big, um, pretty good deal, I want to say, and we are going to give it three hanging points, two on the side and one over here on the top, so the person that's going to buy this, it's going to be able to decide whether he wants it hung from the top or from the side, and, well, 
they will also be uh, strong enough to hold together the top part of the frame and the sides of the frame, which are held together by glue, etc. I don't want to say uh, they are broken or anything like that, but it's always nicer to be safer than sorry, you know what I mean? So let's lift this one up and then let's go from there. Obviously, I have to be careful enough when lifting this back panel because, you know, I don't want to ruin the whole thing. So, yeah, let's hope it's easy enough to lift it up without damaging anything here. Okay. I mean, it seems coming off quite easy. But at the same time, some of the brad nails they used uh, are encased very deep into the into the wood. So you know, it's easy, but not too easy to take this back panel off. So we're gonna reveal the back of this old mirror in just a second, guys. Okay. All right, let's see what we can do here. As you can see, some of the nails are very badly attached um, to this fabric that has been used on the back panel, but we were successful in it enough to remove them. Okay, so this is a pretty simple old panel, but we're gonna reuse this one. It seems good enough to be reused. It's sound, it's clean enough, not wet, not moldy, nice to reuse one. Okay, on the back we got some kind of cardboard or something like that, uh, which is keeping um, the mirror attached. So what we have to do right now uh, is simply to take um, this very old and crusty tape off and replace it uh, Basically, I could replace it with some duct tape, which is going to resist way more than this old crusty tape that it's not going to be seen after putting back the back panel. So let me remove it. Ah, very crusty and gluey, damn it. I mean, this was or already um, an old thing, and they already tried fixing it somehow. As you can see, I mean, even by using the wrong tape or something, but they tried at least to conserve this thing. So what we're gonna do is to give it a much nicer appearance and strength and life, hopefully. So, you know, it's gonna be worth the trouble. Okay, now let me show you how beautiful it is. I mean, it's a very old structure. As you can see, it's cut in a heart shape on the top and straight on the bottom and sides. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna place back uh, the tape, the new tape. Then I'm gonna place the three brackets on the top and on the two sides, the hanging brackets. And then tomorrow we are gonna reupholstery uh, the back panel. Okay, guys. So now everything is nice and taped up with duct tape. It's a cleaner job than before for sure. Uh, my duct tape, at least, it's not crusty and old. Now, before replacing the back panel, we just wanna put the two brackets over here on the other side and the third one on the top. So, as you obviously can see, I'm trying to place the brackets as close as I can to the side, so when I put back my back panel, it will not interfere with the brackets. Okay. 
Okay, perfectly. So as you can see, I place the bracket right between these two parts, top part and bottom part or side part of the frame. So it's going to hold the frame together if it decides to give up in the future. Now I'm going to place the other two brackets, guys. Um, so it's all taped up and nice. I put on the three hanging brackets. This one cost me like 20 minutes of measuring to get it straight because obviously uh, there is a lot of uh, um, nice curly side on this side. So I had to get it measured from the bottom, then trace a line straight up, etc., etc. But it's now in place. The other two, which hold the frame and at the same time can be used as hanging brackets, are already placed. And this is ready. To be reupholstered and put back um, before painting. So tomorrow we are going to reupholster the back panel, which is in rough condition, but it's uh, technically hard and, and dry enough, and it still holds up pretty well. But obviously, you know, we have to reupholster it. We have to clean it up a little bit before putting it back. So what we did today was to remove the back panel. Put back these beautiful brackets, which I paid only 95 cents at the dollar store. And then we cut the dowel flush through the frame so the holes are now filled up. And what we're going to do to, from tomorrow on is complete our little journey from transforming this beautiful mirror into uh, a nice shabby piece. It's going to be my first shabby piece. I've never done shabby style. So it's going to be rough for me. It's going to be tough, you know, uh, doing the right things uh, at the right time. But, well, at least I'm going to try and see what happens. Okay. So, guys, uh, see you soon and goodbye from Unboxo. Ciao, ciao.